What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting a new build. This is a enclosed trailer frame. I had a customer call me about two weeks ago and tell me that his frame had completely come apart. As you can see by the back, yeah, that back piece had fallen off and it was dragging the ground. And he wanted me to go back in and brace things up. And I explained to him, you know, after I said, send me some pictures like I always do. You always, when you're doing a job, you always ask for a bunch of pictures. As many pictures as you can get, the better off of the judgment call you can make without actually seeing the project. So I told him to send me a bunch of pictures. And when he sent me pictures of this, you know, <laughs> I told him, uh, I can't really help you because... There's not a whole lot that I can weld to. I don't feel comfortable trying to brace this up for you and you traveling up north with it. So he told me the story of how this trailer came about and you can probably tell the axle doesn't actually go to this trailer. This was from a beach trip that, gone, that had gone wrong and he slapped a new axle onto the trailer to get it home and it's pretty much set like that. So uh we we came together and decided that the best thing to do would be to build a new frame and he he agreed to build a new frame um he had actually tried to build one but couldn't find the correct size metal from the metal supplier uh, i didn't really have that issue they had it just had to order it it wasn't something common that they keep in stock just had to order it so i told him that the enclosed the shell part of the trailer i wasn't really comfortable with taking off if i was a full-time shop i would because i had all the hours in the world to work on it but when i get about one to two days a week to work on something if that shell were to bend out of frame i'd have to get some help lined up to come in to help me get it onto the trailer to help me straighten it out to hold it in place while somebody welds it yada 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 a whole lot of stuff that would take a whole lot of time that i don't have again you know once or twice a week i come out here and i do some projects for customers so he said he would be fine with taking the shell off himself i said go ahead take the shell off bring me the uh frame that's exactly what he did he took the shell off he actually brought this frame on his other trailer and i thought that was kind of funny seeing a trailer bring another trailer he dropped it off and this is what we got he dropped, also dropped off some new hardware. Um, we had talked, he wanted to keep the leaf springs, but I explained to him that they are fairly cheap at Agri Supply, and he agreed that, you know, we'll just go ahead and throw some new springs on it and have a pretty much new trailer. He also didn't want to use his axle. He had a custom axle that's in the shop in there, a uh, custom axle made at another uh, shop. I believe he said it was down in Georgia, Alabama. He had it custom ordered to a certain width, something about the frame. I don't know, I can't remember exactly what he said. Something about the frame is shorter than the standard four by eight or whatever. And yeah, like I said, I don't know. He custom ordered it. It was actually fairly cheap. When he told me the price and it was shipped to him, shipped to his door, it was actually fairly cheap. And I may be contacting them for some future axles. I don't know yet. Like I said, it's in the shop. So back to the trailer. Uh, I went and picked up the metal today, and I'll get I'll get that'll be on the next video of uh, picking up the metal and stuff. But just to give you an idea of what we're working on, this is it. We are going to pretty much duplicate this trailer exactly like it is. And the other main part about uh, the other main part about rebuilding or building a new trailer was because he wanted to extend this tongue out two feet that was the other major decision in uh building a new trailer instead of bracing this one up and modifying the front he wants to extend this tongue about two feet out he says that he needs a longer a longer tongue to make it easier to help back this short trailer because it's so short and it's you can't see the backside because of the shell so it's kind of hard to tell where you're going. You, your only option of backing this thing is using the mirrors on the vehicle. So he wants to, in order to make it easier for him, extend this frame out about two feet. And then that'll also give us room to extend this carrier here for a generator and or additional storage box instead of just the little uh, four by eight, four by six uh, enclosed shell area. He'd, he'd have an additional storage area up front. So that was the second decision in, in uh, creating a whole new trailer here. So 
got a work cut out for me uh got the like i said i got the metal all i had to do was order it it came in the other day i finally went and picked it up went and picked it up today and i'm gonna get this I'm, i gotta get the metal unloaded that'll be in the next video and cut up and then we'll start you know framing it out to match this frame hope you guys enjoy this quick video today just wanted to give you you know the intro into the new project hope you guys uh like the video and if you did like it hit that thumbs up button helps the video out remember to hit that subscribe button leave me a comment down below if there's anything that you have ever dealt with as far as the enclosed shell part um he's gonna at the end of the build he's gonna bring the shell back for me to weld it on he actually cut it off but he doesn't know how to weld it back on so he's gonna bring it here and i'm gonna help him weld it on if you've ever dealt with enclosed trailers please leave me a comment with any tips or hints or whatever as far as getting this thing back on because i've never dealt with one i wasn't even sure how he was going to get it off to begin with but he did so like i said hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button leave me a comment down below if you have any hints tips or tricks for dealing with enclosed trailers hope you guys enjoy the video i'll catch you on the next one y'all have a good one